Hello and welcome to my fourth Maya video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a reference plane in Maya. So, um, I'm going to be creating a plane first, and a polygonal plane this is. Scale it up. Let's rotate it 90 degrees and the rotate Z. Okay, you should know how to use your attribute box here. Okay, so now that I have it rotated, I'm going to get the um, dimensions correct. This, the dimensions of this plane need to match that of the file or the image that I'm going to be applying onto it or else the image will be stretched and I will not get a very good uh, won't have very good reference to model something with if the uh, if it's not proportional to the image so let's select our image here and let's check the dimensions on this it's 1407 width so I'm not going to make it 1407 units, I'm just going to make it 1.407 units in world space. So to do that I'm just going to change my um, rotate Z for the width. I'm going to change it to 1.07, 1.407 that is. Yep, and then 1.068 in the x-axis, 1.068 then I scale it up because the dimensions are correct already and it will scale up the plane appropriately. Now let's close our grid. Let's uh, go to Shaden. Wireframe unshaded. And this is just so you guys can uh, see the plane better in, your, in the video on YouTube. So let's go up to Window, Render and Editors, Hypershade. Let's whip out a Lambert using the middle mouse button. Now let's go down to find a file node here and middle mouse button again. Okay, let's rename our Lambert by simply holding control and double clicking on it. The Lambert shader that is. And rename it reference uh, reference shader, I'm just gonna call it whoops. Shader, yes. Let's throw our file node on there using the middle mouse button and drag it on top of there, and then choosing color from the list double click our file node and then go over to the right over here and then load up an image load up your reference image let's throw this um, reference shader onto the plane and I simply middle mouse drag it from the hypershade onto the 3D viewport here and dropping it on to your mesh or in this case my plane which is going to be my reference plane so let's drop it on there um, you don't see anything different right now so all you need to do is just hit 6 and that will bring you to texture viewport mode and let's close our... no actually we're not going to close our hypershade because the image didn't load the way I want it to obviously we want to see our squirrel straight up not like that so let's select our file 1 node double click on it and then go to place 2d texture 1 up top tab and then let's change our rotate frame to 90 degrees and there you go, there, there the uh, squirrel is there um, and another thing, let's throw our grid back on when you create your objects in default in Maya they will appear in the center unless you're um, running my 8.5 and you haven't uh, changed your options for this but um in most versions they will appear in the center here so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move your reference plane back to about there, you can move it as far back as you want then you know go to a uh, front view here and you know begin modeling your um, from your cube or whatever you're going to use as your uh, object to model it so you're probably going to want to put your um, reference image in a, in a layer that is um, so I'll explain that in the next tutorial but anyways you have something to work with now a reference plane that you can uh, model an object from I wouldn't recommend a picture like this because well, I guess you could model it from this but um, it's kind of hard to work with something like this especially just one image it's good to set up multiple reference images but I'll have a uh, video on probably four uh, setting up car reference images so you can work from those and that's going to conclude this tutorial I'm going to have more soon and you can go to my YouTube page here and you can subscribe to my videos you can even donate using PayPal if you want to that's completely your decision if you want to or not 
but that would definitely help me create more video tutorials for you guys. So there you go, that's going to conclude this video tutorial, and thanks for watching.